Good afternoon, Tim. Um, Good afternoon, Gary. We're here at the surgery today, and you're going to tell us something about a new initiative, I think, that's happening, or a relatively new initiative that's happening here at the surgery, uh, Patient Matters. Yeah. Patient Matters is a development of uh, patient participation groups, you know, your, uh, where a group of patients um, uh, are involved with their local practice to help them develop services, tell them, you know, what they like, what they don't like. Um, they've been around for quite a few years. Um, and um, patient matters we're trying to sort of move beyond um, you know occasional consultation and asking for, for advice to actually active ongoing involvement um, in, in what we do and um, the reason why we're very very keen um, to promote this and develop this is that we constantly want to, to improve and, and be better at what we do and uh, we know that unless we really hear and understand what patients' experience are of using our services, we won't know um, how to make them better. And not only that, is that we're you know we're probably being inefficient without without knowing it. And you know inefficiencies in these times of austerity is you know denying you know other care to other people. So really, what we're what we're going to be trying to do through the patient matters is to you know ask um, uh, our patients you know is there something you want us to know about what we're doing uh, is there something you want to tell us about you know what we're doing what we're doing um, it may be something that you know people are unhappy with a sort of complaint level type thing but a lot of it will be about you know well if this is fine you know we're very, you know we're happy with what you're doing but Actually, if you did it this way, it would be a bit better, and it would it would fit better for me. Um, uh, you know, uh, and, and I'd probably get more out of it. And so, um, we want we want to have that sort of partnership, really. So we want to move from consulting with people, you know, saying have a meeting, consult with them, to having an ongoing process where we perhaps work with um, patients with particular conditions or particular sort of groups of conditions that mean they experience services in a particular way and we very much welcome people's time to ask them to describe you know what is your experience you know what what, what did it meet your needs is, is it what you want and then for us to um, you know reflect on what we need to do differently and then try it out and see whether it actually delivers the result you know, or, or you know, more attuned to people's needs. Because I had the impression that it would be a sort of everyone sit around the table. You know, people come in, they sit around the table, and you sort of set out an agenda and you ask for feedback. But it's not quite that, is it? Uh, no, I think that's that's you know, we 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 are genuinely wanting to know. We start from what they think and what people think. So we're asking, you know, is there something you want to tell us? Is there something we need to know? Rather than you know we're going to talk about this, we're mm. going to talk about that. Mm. So, so um, you know we're it's a very different approach, you know, and a very uh, you know a very new approach for us. But you know we've had we've had experience from taking experience from other other places, um, and we know that we're probably going to be better at getting better if we take this approach, which is very much a bottom up approach, than thinking that you know. We've got the answers, or we're trying. We, we we think about the question, come up with answers, and then we ask people whether mm -hmm. they think they're the right answers. That's not the way we want to proceed. We want to we want to ask a question and then get the answers from from the people who are using the services and work with them to make sure that what we're doing is meeting their needs and and, and, and what they want to happen. Have you been going long enough with this now that you could actually give me an example of something that's that's happened as a result? No, we're just at the beginning. Um, uh, we're very much at the beginning. And so what I hope at the meeting that, we, that we're having, I think it's on Wednesday, the 14th of March, at, um, at between one and two at the surgery, is that we would hope that that meeting would be about coming up with, with questions. So it would be, you know, to, to prioritise what people feel is important that we should look at together. So from that meeting, I would hope that we would be able to work with a patient or a group of patients with, with a, you know, similar issues and go in great depth with them, you know, what 
their experience of our services are and uh, whether they're meeting their needs and what they want to happen and then you know in understanding that and that's working with our staff with us and our staff as a group um, going through in great detail about that and then from that we'll have a deeper understanding together of what we you know what we need to do and it may be that some things we're doing we're doing fine but I'm absolutely certain we won't be doing everything fine and it won't be about things going wrong or being wrong it'll be about making them better so there'll be better ways of getting to the same you know to the same shared goal there are two ways that um, you can be involved and to help yourself and your community you can either um, become an expert patient in in in, in um, the in working with us looking uh, looking at developing services or you can be of help by contributing to online surveys through our website and that you know that's another important way of giving feedback so any anything you know it's basically you can tell us you know what we what you think we need to know and uh, what you'd like us to know either by coming to the meeting offering to be an expert patient or by being involved in an online community completing questionnaires and giving us feedback that way what kind of commitment do you see because obviously people are always pushed for time and, and, are, and are wary about committing themselves to, to be part of something like this what would you say to that i well i've just come back from sweden on a learning trip on on, on how to do this this sort of activity and, and what the, what they what they the way the way that they've learned to um, work most effectively with with patients and users of services is probably just to have a couple of meetings of a couple of hours each in great depth to explore their experience. And so it's that sort of commitment, a couple of hours going through with, 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 the, with the team and then we're in contact with them in terms of saying, well, this is what we propose to do differently in the light of what you've shared with us. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's good. Right, well, let's, let's, let's measure what, you know, how are we going to know that it's better let's put some measurements in place to see whether it's better and then we'll make the change and see whether it's actually delivering what we what we think it will deliver. And the reward for a patient is that they can make a, a huge difference. The reward for the patient is that they will end up with a service that meets their needs mm. and, and is how they want it to be delivered. Mm. Um, that's, that's the reward and they'll know that they have contributed to enable everybody to have that because usually they're, they're, you know, they're not, you know, people are the same. But uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, we're prepared to find out that actually a lot of what we do isn't actually meeting what people, you know, these ones. We must say it isn't a Christmas list. You know, I mean, you, you write this and you want to have everything. You know, on a Christmas list, you can't have everything. You know, there is, there is, there. You know, there, there, there you know. There's, but there's a, there's. That's part of the dialogue in terms of saying, well, you know, these some some of these things are, we can do. Some of them, you know, we can't. Um, but the experience of other, um, you know, um, healthcare organisations like ours in this country and abroad is that you can do a hell of a lot on a Christmas list. You know, you can do a hell of a lot of it um, and make a difference. Um, and presumably, this is an ongoing process for the practice as well. It's not just a short term. No, this is going to be, um, you know, within our practice and um, probably within within you know our, our area, the, the clinical commission group that we're in. This is going to be the way that we're going to work. Um, you know, this is the way that we're going to increase quality whilst living within tight budgets. Because you know, as we say, anything that isn't actually delivering for the patient is wasted effort and wasted resource. So um, you know, the, the aim is to, if you redesign the service to deliver better outcomes at less resource, well, the resource that you save, you can put into other services you put it back in to 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 healthcare in a different in a different way to perhaps meet new priorities that are coming along. And the evidence is abroad that you know you, you can with working in partnership in this way um, make the healthcare pound go a lot further and also end up with a higher quality service because it's more attuned to what people need and want because you've asked the person using it. Great. Well thank you very much and all the very best with uh, patient matters. Thank you.